Today, we're going to be building the perfect affordable watch collection, mentioning and recommending 50 different watches in this video. I'm going to take you through eight different categories of watches and recommend six watches per category. Then at the very end of the video, I'll be selecting my personal favorite picks from each section and building the ultimate eight watch collection. So stay tuned till the very end. And I want you guys to play along today. Build your very own watch collection with me and let me know the watches that you choose down in the comments. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first category of watch that we're going to cover is probably the most popular of them all. The dive watch is the perfect place to start any collection. Regardless of whether or not you actually get it wet, dive watches tend to be built a lot more durable than other styles of watches. But not only is the dive watch tough, but the aesthetics tend to be a lot more versatile and work with a range of different outfits. So let's check out my top six picks for the the dive watch section. Okay, the first dive watch and probably one of the most popular is the Casio Juro. This is a larger diver with a quartz movement, but does have the water capabilities and only costs around $70. You have a few choices of bezel colors with the Juro. All of them are super versatile and offer that classic dive watch look for not a lot of cash. Tissot actually creates a dive watch that doesn't get much love online. The C-Star range is quite impressive as it comes with a choice of movements, colors and sizes. This is one of the most affordable ways to get into a Swiss made diver. And again, you get that versatile dive watch look with a higher build quality than the Casio Juro. The Citizen Promaster is more of an acquired taste when it comes to dive watches, with its unique K shape that divides opinion. But you do get the water capabilities and Citizen's trend setting solar powered technology with the Eco Drive movement. You get a seriously capable watch here for just a couple hundred dollars. One of the best value watches has to be the Orient Kamasa featuring a sapphire crystal and a reliable in-house automatic movement. There's now tons of choices when it comes to the Kamasu, with different dial layouts and colours. And the Kamasu is a large watch that actually wears very well. If you want something that looks a bit more vintage, the Boulevard Devil Diver is the way to go. With its cushion case and crosshair dial, it's dripping with vintage charm. Although the movement inside the Devil Diver isn't as good as the other ones that we've mentioned, with its lack of hacking seconds, it offers a lot that not many other divers can. Now, I love my micro brands and under the radar picks. So let's take a look at a watch from British brand Alkin, a compressor dive watch that features the bezel under the crystal. This one comes with 300 meters of water resistance and great all round specs. The design is super simple and offers a lot of versatility. If you want something different, this is the way to go. So what's your pick from this selection of dive watches? One of the more useful complications on a wristwatch is the chronograph. Whether it's just a pizza in the oven or a workout in the gym, having the ability to time something on your wrist is extremely useful. But finding a good, affordable chronograph is one of the more challenging missions in watch collecting. But I think I've got six really good picks here for you. The first chronograph on today's video is by Timex with the Q Chronograph. This is a super sporty, vintage inspired chronograph that has an iconic look, similar to what you'd expect to see on vintage Speedmaster and Daytona models. But Timex put their own spin on the genre with their unique bracelet and dial details. A fan favourite amongst affordable watch collectors is the Seagull 1963. This is a hand-wound mechanical chronograph that is proudly made in China by one of the biggest distributors of watch parts to the entire world. This is the most affordable way to get into a mechanical chronograph, featuring the now iconic ST19 movement. One of the best value chronographs in my opinion is the Boulder Field Medic range. These watches feature a full titanium construction with 200 meters of water resistance, which is rather impressive for an affordable chronograph. The watch features a pulsation scale, used to measure the beats per minute of a heart, useful for doctors and paramedics. The Boulevard Lunar Pilot is a watch that has been to the moon, just like the Speedmaster. However, these watches are considerably less than the iconic Omega model, but still features a super sporty look that is totally original to Boulevard. The watch is quite large though, so if you have a smaller wrist, it might be worth considering something else. If you are a history buff and enjoy a watch that has plenty of heritage, the Yammer Rallygraph is one that you should check out. This watch was worn on the wrist by racing car icon Mario Andretti during his iconic racing wins, with a totally unique subdial layout, but still offering a super sporty racing aesthetic. Dan Henry offers a range of affordable chronographs that are all fantastic options. My pick though would be the 1963, if you want a proper sports chronograph. These watches are inspired by vintage chronograph models from 1960. 
1963. Constructed with modern materials and are built by a micro brand that values the history of wristwatches. Which of these six chronographs do you like the most? Okay, so the next category we're going to be taking a look at is the everyday watch. This is an integral part of any serious watch collection. The whole idea with an everyday watch is simple. It's a watch that works with almost any attire and works in almost any situation. Having good water resistance and an inoffensive design is key here. So let's check out my picks. The PRX is a top contender in this category for me. It will have you covered in almost any situation. It has enough flash and sparkle to be dressed up, but enough sporty vibe to be dressed down and work with a casual outfit. No matter whether you go for the quartz or the mechanical, the PRX is a great addition to any watch collection. The Seiko Dress KX range is almost the perfect everyday watch. It features a sporty case with dressy design cues. The dial layout and loom are also built for pure legibility. So if you're going out for dinner or just washing the car, the Seiko SRPE 55 will have you covered in any and almost every situation imaginable. The Citizen Toyosa is a newer release that is a fantastic everyday watch. The three link bracelet has plenty of flair whilst the dial keeps the piece simple and useful. The Citizen also comes with an automatic movement for around the same price as the Quartz PRX. So if you want pure value for money, this is the one to go for. A lot of watch enthusiasts only seem to consider Casio for their digital offerings, but the Casio Edifice range features some hidden gems. This Casio Edifice piece comes with a sapphire crystal and 100 meters of water resistance. Combine that with the simplistic case and dial, and you have a watch that is almost built perfectly to be an everyday wear. Baltic is a micro brand from France that has been taking over the enthusiast world. The HMS range is a great everyday watch, featuring a sector dial and a nice compact 38mm case. The brushed finishing stops the watch looking too dressy, with the sector dial giving it a bit of class. Finally, Laurier is an American watch brand that, like Baltic, offers vintage inspired watches. The Laurier Falcon has a definite Rolex Explorer vibe, a watch that some consider the most perfect everyday watch ever created. So it's only natural that this model is also considered an amazing everyday watch option. The next style of watch that is almost in every single affordable watch collection is the field watch. This is a style of watch that is based around the idea of a watch being built for the battlefield, with the field watch genre being birthed during the world war. So durability is key here. The watch must be able to withstand high pressure and stress. So here are my picks. The first field watch featured today is the Orient Defender. This is an automatic watch with 100 meters of water resistance, but comes with some dial complications that aren't usually seen around this price point, with a day indicator, a 24 hour sub dial and a date window at the 3 o'clock. Batucci is an American watch brand that purely focuses on creating the best possible field watches. With an unlimited choice of models to choose from, they are built to be the ultimate combat companion. The A2T Classic features a 40mm titanium case with 200 meters of water resistance. We're heading back to Boulder for this next pick, with the Boulder Venture range of watches. Again, we see a titanium construction with 200 meters of water resistance. This time though, we see an automatic movement and a sapphire crystal, making this one probably the best value field watch that you'll find around. Seiko have always created some fantastic field watches, and the SRPG39 that was released just a couple of years back has not disappointed, offering a very classical field watch design with a little bit of charm with the Fume dial. You get everything that you'd expect from an affordable Seiko 5 with this watch, including the very affordable price. If you want a field watch that has genuinely seen real world combat, then the CWC G10 is the way to go. This is a watch that was supplied to the British military for decades, being worn on the wrist of genuine soldiers during war. The watches are built to military specification and follow the very classic British field watch aesthetic. If you want a super affordable watch, this one costs less than $100. The Laurus field is made from titanium and features 100 meters of water resistance. Combine that with the super thin case and great loom, you have a fantastic watch that is super comfortable to wear and has great specifications for the money that you spend. Which of these field watches would you choose? Another staple in any serious watch collection is the dress watch. Whether you work in an office or have that one special event per year, it's important to have a dress watch in the collection so that you can be suited for the occasion. This watch is all about being classy, minimal and sophisticated. Here are my top six picks for the best affordable dress watches. It was hard to pick a watch from the old school Seiko 5 range for the dress watch section. Because there's 
there's tons of models that are up to the occasion. But the Seiko 5 SNXS79 for me is probably top of the list, featuring a subtle grey sunburst dial, a 38mm case and simple stick hands and markers. Stick this watch on a leather strap and it's ready for function. The Citizen NH835 is a seriously underrated dress watch offering from the Japanese giants. This piece comes with a 40mm case and a simplistic dial, featuring an automatic movement with a small day date complication. This piece even comes with a steel bracelet, so it has the option to be dressed up with a leather or slightly more casual with the bracelet. One watch that I recently reviewed and really surprised me is the Casio AQ230. In its regular configuration with the gold bracelet, it's just super casual. But swap out the bracelet and you have a rectangular dress watch that looks similar to the Cartier Tank and JLC Reverso for only $30. The Orient Bambino is a watch that has an iconic status in the watch enthusiast world. Endless models, different case sizes and dial colours mean that you can find one that you like. My pick would be the newer 38mm champagne dial option, which offers a minimal, classically styled look that has a sophisticated aesthetic. We're back to Seiko for this next pick, with the Presage Cocktail Time range. My personal favourite is the Mojito model, which features a detailed green fume dial and gold hands and details. This one is a bit more flashy than the others that we featured, so it's for the more flamboyant enthusiast. But the Cocktail Time range has so much choice for your personal taste. The micro brand pick for this category is from Chinese brand Mercure. This particular watch features a salmon crosshair dial with a classically shaped case design. We have a 38mm case with a manual wind movement. I like this piece. It's not trying to hide that it's Chinese, it's actually proud of it in fact. And for around $100, I think this piece looks super classy. The next type of watch we'll be featuring in our perfect watch collection is the GMT. This is a watch that has the ability to track two or more time zones at the same time. Ideal for a pilot or a traveller who is often switching between different countries. Or, like I do, making sure I don't miss a golf tournament in America by tracking the time. It's a fun complication to have, and one of the more famous and popular on a watch. Here are my picks. Let's head back to Timex for the first pick of the GMT section. Again, we'll be visiting the Q range for the Q Timex GMT. This is a sporty watch styled on vintage Rolex GMT Masters. But again, we see some original design cues with this piece. This is only a quartz GMT, as affordable mechanical GMTs are hard to come by. Speaking of though, Seiko do have an affordable mechanical GMT with the SSK range. This is a fairly new model and movement that has hit the enthusiast world like a truck on fire. This model features all of that Seiko DNA that collectors love, with the large case that works on smaller wrists. Let's head over to Switzerland for this next pick and go with an underrated Swiss brand, that being with the Glycine Combat Sub GMT. This model comes in both quartz and automatic, but the quartz is of course much cheaper than the mechanical version. The Combat Sub has diving capabilities, and of course features a Swiss movement. If you want the ultimate budget GMT watch, then the Casio World Timer is a no-brainer. Instead of just being able to track two time zones, the Casio AE1200 has the ability to track 31 different time zones with just a few clicks of a button. This is value packed and one of the best bang for buck Casio models on the planet. Okay, let's take a look at another mechanical GMT now. This one though is much more dressy in aesthetics, but does look extra classic. This is the Bulliver Wilton, and like the Seiko previously, features an automatic movement. This piece features a very interesting dial with a world map motif. The final GMT is from Citizen and this is a fairly old model, but it is as good now as it ever has been. The Citizen Nighthawk has a unique GMT hand, which features an aeroplane arrow tip on a dual sided hand, which take turns every 12 hours to display the time in your second time zone. The next style of watch we'll be taking a look at is the pilot's watch. And just like the field watch that we talked about earlier, this was a watch that was created for pilots during the World War, but has since become a staple in many affordable watch collections. The sole purpose of the pilot's watch is to have incredible legibility at a glance, making pilot watches some of the most user friendly of all the different styles of watches. So let's check out my top six picks. The first watch we'll be going with is the Laco Augsburg, which is the most affordable way to get into a brand that was actually creating the very first pilot watches back in the World War. The Laco Augsburg is the perfect example of what a pilot watch should be. Perfectly legible, no nonsense German design. We'll be heading back to Seiko for this pick and going with the Seiko 5 SRPH21. This 
time we have a Flieger Type B dial, which has the minutes on the outer and the hours in the center. This is an automatic piece featuring the 4R36 movements, and coming in at 40mm, this should fit almost any size wrist. If you are wanting a pilot watch that has a bit more detail and personality, the AV8 Kent is the way to go. This is a micro brand that purely focuses on creating unique pilot watches. The Kent features an automatic movement, sapphire crystal, and plenty of flamboyant colours to keep the eye entertained. This under the radar pilot watch is by the brand Aristo, which is a German watch brand creating aviation watches. For under $500, this piece gives you an automatic Swiss movement, sapphire, titanium, and a good water resistance. This is a proper unknown brand that deserves a bit more attention from enthusiasts. We're staying in Germany for this next pick and going with the brand Zeppelin. This model is the LZ127. This is an automatic pilot's watch that features the made in Germany stamp at the bottom of the dial. This is slightly different in design to the other pilot watches we featured, so offers an alternative look if you want something that's a little bit different. The final pilot's watch featured today will be from Citizen with the Titanium Pilot. This one is super interesting because it comes with a full titanium construction including the bracelet too. This watch features oversized hour markers which contrast heavily with the dial for great legibility. The final style of watch to cover before we go and build my ultimate 8 watch collection is the Beta Watch. This is an absolutely essential part to any watch collection regardless of price or size. It's important to have a watch that you don't mind getting a bit battered and bruised. A watch that will take a beating whilst your other more special watches are sat at home safe in the watch box. And these are my top 6 picks for the best affordable Beta watches. It would be crazy not to mention the Casio F91W as a Beta watch. I mean the thing only costs $10 and has a reputation to live way longer than they have any right doing. These watches are like cockroaches. They just survive. And when it does eventually die, throw it in the bin and buy another. If you want something cool that gets a nod of respect from fellow enthusiasts, then the Casio Oak is the way to go. Offering an iconic look with the octagonal bezel but still having all of that G-Shock goodness that means it will survive anything you can throw at it. Let's go with something unexpected in this section with the Timex Iron Man. This offers something similar to the G-Shock with its resin case and digital display. The Iron Man offers 100 meters of water resistance and a much smaller case than most G-Shock models. So if you have a smaller wrist, this could be your pick. The classic G-Shock Square is known as the ultimate beta watch. Throw a bomb at it and it will live to tell the tale. And of all of the G-Shock models, the DW5600 tends to work on almost any size wrist. And with literally hundreds of models to choose from, find one that you like and don't look back. A fairly new model, but one that has really caught my eye is the Casio MDW110. This has had some critical acclaim online for being a budget G-Shock killer, coming in at around half the price of the G-Shock Square, but offering a very similar look and similar features too. It also features a metal bezel, which is rare to see on an affordable Casio. Finally, the last beta watch is the GM2100. I know this one is a bit of a cheat, but it's just too good not to feature. This offers everything that the plastic Casio does, but comes with a full steel case and a slightly more upmarket dial, giving a much needed level of flash which allows the piece to be more versatile. Okay, now we've covered the 50 watches on the shortlist. Let me show you my ultimate affordable watch collection. But remember to tell me your ultimate 8 watch collection from this list down in the comments. For the diver, I'll be going with the Orient Kamasu. This is a watch that I've personally owned for over a year now, and I just love it to death. It's just so good and so affordable. What's not to love? For the chronograph, my choice has to be the Boulder Field Medic. It just offers way too much value for money in my opinion, with its titanium case and unique pulsations meter. My pick for the everyday watch is going to be the Laurier Falcon. I just think it's super versatile and will work for me in almost any situation. For the field watch, I'll be going with the CWC G10. Being a Brit, this may be somewhat of a patriotic choice, but I just love a watch that has a genuine history, and this pick has an abundance. My dress watch of choice has to be the Seiko Mojito Cocktail Time. I'm a huge fan of gold and green colour schemes, and I think this watch nails it perfectly. My favourite GMT watch is without question the Citizen Nighthawk. Yes, it has a very busy dial, but I just love the unique GMT hand and the overall design of the piece. My pick for the pilot watch is going to be the Laco Augsburg, again a watch with genuine heritage linking back to the very first Flieger watches. And finally, my beta would be the MDW110. I love the metal bezel on this Casio and the price 
nice means that I can wear it without having to worry about it breaking. So that's my ultimate affordable 8 watch collection. What do you think of my picks? What would you change? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're in the market for a new watch, head over to toptaerticker.com and check out some cool pre-owned watches. The link is in the description. If you liked this video and want some more affordable watch suggestions, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 affordable underrated Seiko watches.